Hi everyone, it's Linnea from sparklycreations.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to be creating a Halloween trick-or-treat card. Um, I'm going to be using the little, the candy corn and the sentiment from this recollection stamp set. It is from probably like four years ago, so I'm not sure if you can get it anymore, but all you need is just some kind of Halloween candy stamp and um, like your sentiment. So I'm going to use those. And then also I'm going to be using the stamp set from the Sandlot Studio Calico card kit. I'm going to be using the gumball machine. I'm a really big fan of stretching your stamps and using them in ways that they weren't intended to be used. So we're going to start off using the gumball machine stamp, like I said. And I'm just going to mount it on my Fisker stamp press. And then I have an A2 size card. It was originally 11 inches by four and a quarter. It's Nina 110 solar white card stock. And I've just cut and scored it to be the size of an A2 card. I'm gonna give it a really good crease. All right, and then I'm going to use the Studio Calico Orange County ink. And I'm gonna ink up this gumball machine. I'm going to unfold that just so it's easier for me to stamp. And I'm going to be stamping up near the top, but in the center. Once I have that stamped once, I'm going to ink it up with the same ink again. And I'll stamp it down right on top. I want it to be kind of like a dark um, autumn -y orange rather than like a bright orange. Now that I have my gumball machine all stamped, I'm going to use the Studio Calico Color Theory Doc Brown ink. And I'm just gonna use the little uh, candy corn image and I'm gonna stamp that inside of my um, gumball machine. So let's see. I'm gonna stamp it once with all three of them and then um, I cut my candy corns apart because I just wanted to stamp um, a few individual ones. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna keep the individual one on my block for now, and I'm just gonna start filling in some of the areas. And now next up, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. It just says trick or treat. I'm gonna use the same dark brown ink just to kind of keep everything all together. I'm going to make sure that's inked up really well. And then I'm just going to stamp that right below the gumball machine. All right, that looks great. And now I wanted to create a dotted line underneath the sentiment, um, but I don't have any stamps that are actually just a dotted line. So I'm going to use a stylus and I have like um, a bigger end and then the small end. I'm going to use the small end and I'm just going to touch it to my ink pad and then touch it down on my paper and it'll create a little dot. And I can keep repeating those dots and create a little dotted line. So my dotted line is all finished now and now I just wanted to color in the candy corn. And I don't have Copic markers. Um, they're really expensive and kind of out of my crafting budget. So I use these Bic markers. They are alcohol based just like um, the Copic markers are. So I'm going to be using these to color in the candy corn. I'm kind of going to go brown at the bottom and then orange and then yellow at the top. So my brown is going to be the adobe orange. Um, my orange is going to be summer melon and then at the top the yellow is lemon bliss. Okay, I'm moving on to the Summer Melon for the middle portions. And I wanted to mention that um, just like how I did the colored pencil coloring the other day with Crayola pencils, um, Prismacolors are obviously a better pencil than Crayola. So just like that, the Copic markers are obviously better than like these Bic markers. But like I said before, I like to use what I have, so that's I just kind of get away and I cheat a little bit. And the tops of my candy corns are going to be with the Lemon Bliss. Um, next, I'm going to take my corner rounder, corner chomper, and I'm going to use the quarter inch side 
just to round these bottom corners just to give it just a little bit of interest on the bottom because everything's kind of going on up at the top all right and then just to finish off the card I have um, the Tim Holtz distressing gathered twigs and I'm just gonna use my mini ink blending tool and I'm just gonna um, distress the edges a little bit I'm gonna make sure that the edges are dark and then I'm kind of gonna go around and pull the color in so that it's a little bit um, shaded on the inside of the card too so I had every intention of keeping this card a quick and simple um, one layer card, but as I was smudging my ink around, I got some accidental smudges over here. So it's really bothering me and I need to cover it up. So I'm just gonna um, use some sequins and I am using the Heidi Swap, hmm, let me see, what is it? Heidi Swap Magic Medium in Clear. I used this on my last video with sequins and um and I really do like it I mean it dries completely clear it holds strong so I'm gonna try using it again I have it so I figured I might as well use it um but that is it guys really even with the sequins it is a pretty cute and simple card um I I love the fact that I use that you can use this gumball machine you can fill it up with different candies um you could fill it up with even like eyeballs if you wanted to and have it be like a really um a different kind of Halloween card so I guess maybe um, I'll try that next time but anyway I'm rambling on and on guys sorry <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you liked this video um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and head over to my blog and subscribe to me there as well thank you guys for watching and I hope to have another video brought out to you guys soon bye guys thank you